maybe the last point I want to say, and it's probably something we'll talk more about in the webinar, is the importance of creating a safe space for somebody to give you feedback. Mm -hmm. um, and I grew up in Indiana. Um, we were just out in Colorado a few weeks ago, and I got to test this surprisingly still in the summer, is what happens on a frozen lake, right? And I remember my brother, we came across this frozen lake, and we're like, the kids want to go out and play on it. And the, it's like, you don't just run full speed out into it. It's like, you've got to create step by step. Is this safe? Is this safe? Is this safe? And, and you've got to think about when people are giving you feedback, when you have created a place yeah. for them to come and give you feedback, they're questioning, is this safe? Let me tell you. Right. Is the ice beginning to crack? Let me tell you one little safe piece of detail and how you respond to that is going to determine whether they keep going and tell you the really valuable feedback or if the ice starts cracking and they back up, oh, no, no, it's no big deal. You're great. Everything's great, right? That's not useful. When somebody gets feedback that's like, no, you're great. Everything's great. I'm like, well, that was a waste of time. Yeah. So we'll talk more about how to do that through the listening strategy. But, but no matter how, if you're engaging some of these simple questions that we mentioned, if you're sending out the email asking for feedback, I want you to always keep in mind what a risk somebody is taking you to give you feedback and be super grateful and super honor that. Yeah. And yeah. just recognize that it really is a gift that they are giving you the opportunity to learn something new about you so that you can continue to grow, to continue to become a better version of yourself. And hopefully that's what you are trying to do in life is grow into that 